Hello dear learners, welcome to my channel Economics Made Easy web series. Today we will discuss on the topic Emerging Economy or Emerging Market Economy. Let us first learn the concept of Emerging Market Economy. The term was coined in 1981 by A.W. Van Agthamil of International Finance Corporation of the World Bank. An emerging market economy is defined as an economy with low to middle per capita income. Though the term emerging market is loosely defined, countries that fall into this category varying from very big to very small and are usually considered emerging because of their stage or a state of developments, reforms and potential for development. An emerging market is a country that has some characteristics of a developed market but does not meet standards to be a developed market. The four largest emerging and developing economies by either nominal or purchasing power parity adjusted GDP are the BRIC countries that is Brazil, Russia, India and China. Dear learners, we have another concept called E7 or Emerging 7. The term was coined by economists at PwC in 2006. In this slide we can see there are seven countries and they are arranged in terms of their size of GDP. The first country in this order is China with GDP of 15.5 trillion dollar whereas India is in the second with $3.2 trillion, Brazil $2.3 trillion, Russia $1.8 trillion, Mexico $1.3 trillion, Indonesia $1.2 trillion, whereas Turkey $961 billion. Dear learners, in this slide, we will see the comparison of developed market with the emerging market on the basis of four parameters. Those parameters are level of development, state of economy, rate of growth and scope for growth. If we see the first parameter, the level of development, the developed market is very high. Whereas the emerging market, the level of development is either low or medium. If we see the state of economy, the developed markets are stable and developed. Whereas the developing economy are unstable and are still developing. The rate of growth of developed market is low and the emerging market rate of growth is very high. If you see the score for growth, the score for growth in developed market is less because of saturated market, whereas score for growth in emerging market are immense, they are large. So this way we can compare developed with the emerging market. Dear learners, now we will see the concept of emerging economy. Mr. Julian proposed a definition of emerging economies which are which is different from emerging market and he coined the term based on financial criteria. According to his definition, an emerging economy displays the following characteristics. Intermediate income, its purchasing power parity per capita income is comprised between 10% to 75% of the European Union per capita income, which means the per capita income of emerging market ranges between 10% to 75% of European Union per capita income. The second point is catching up growth. During at least the last decade, it has experienced a brisk economic growth that has narrowed the income gap between emerging economies with the advanced economies. The third point he pointed out, the institutional transformations and economic opening. 
During the same period, it has undertaken profound institutional transformations which contributed to integrate it more deeply into the world economy. Hence, emerging economies appears to be a byproduct of the current globalization. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for upcoming videos on basic characteristics of Indian economy as an emerging economy.